Hi guys, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be going over any grammar questions you have, um, any vocabulary questions you have, basically any questions you have. So this is just going to be a question and answer session. Hey, Yuri. Fine. How's it going? Fine. All right, cool. How's your, how's your day going? Not very good, not very bad. My favorite club lose very f important game. M maybe one minute ago. Wait, what happened? My favorite. F f sorry, it's not um, it's football. It's soccer for you. My favorite soccer club lose important game. <laughs> what um what team? Uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Ah, who they lose to? Oh, how many men? Who who did they lose to? Like who were they playing? Sorry, why? Barcelona. No, no, Liverpool. Liverpool. It isn't Barcelona. Barcelona was yesterday. Just today. Today uh, another today another soccer. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay. How, okay. how are you? What what are you drinking today? I have just water today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where is my tea? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um Hi guys, hi Bruno. Hi Soliman. Hi. Hello. Hello. All right. So, um, if you guys are watching this right now, it's live, obviously, and it's the first two minutes are reserved for Verbling Premium. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let's see. Now I think we have a full full class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Hi guys. My name's Joe. Um, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. And today, if you read the description of this class, it's just going to be a question and answer session. So you guys can ask questions, and I'm going to try and answer them as best as I can. So that's just basically what this entire class is going to be. Um, so let's start with any anybody that wants to volunteer and ask a question first. Would anybody like to start? How is the weather today in Arizona? How is the weather? Um, it's good actually. It's it's cloudy outside right now. Let's see if I can show you guys. Mm -hmm. I might be able but, to. But normally the 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 weather is cold. Cold? No, hot. You no normally it's hot. okay. You can't see because of the. It's, it's like overexposed, um, but no, normally it's well. Right now it's winter, and yes. so normally it's. Um, I mean, during winter it's cold, but yesterday it actually snowed, and that's mm -hmm. not normal. I was gonna show you guys a video um, that I took yesterday. I'll see if I can find it, but yeah, normally it's pretty hot here in Arizona. Pretty high, huh? Yeah, pretty hot. Like like California, more more or less. Um, kind more, more, of more more dry, more dry. Yeah, well, in California weather is really nice. Come like during the summer, it's perfect. But in Arizona, it's really hot during the summer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like in the winter, in the winter in California, is uh, the weather is more warm than uh, in Arizona. Or more cold. In in, w in which season? In winter. In winter, it's colder in California. Oh, okay, thank you. Because it's more, it's near 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 to the Pacific. Yes. Ocean Pacific. Yes. yes, exactly. Uh huh. Uh -huh. 
Any? Does anybody have any grammar questions? Nobody has any questions. Try <laughs> have questions. Do you like sport? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I like basketball, football, soccer, um, volleyball. I know. What, what kind of sports do you guys like? Football. Football is half of my life. <laughs> Does anybody else like football? Yes, football. I like football, football also. Yeah. Football. football in Brazil. Brazil. Okay. But, uh, sorry, yeah. but uh, if if they say football, it doesn't mean the same uh, in North America and um, in Europe. Football, in, uh, football in in North America is mean uh, soccer. No, football in North America, when we like when I say, hey, do you like football? Yeah. I'm usually referring to American football, like where you throw yeah. it. Yeah. But it, in Europe and in other places, football is like soccer. Played by football. Yeah, yeah, soccer. Exactly, yeah. Joe, is it video with your winter? Is it what? Yeah, is it video with uh, your winter? Yes. <laughs> Not my winter. I mean, yes, because it's winter right now. Here, I can show you real quick. I just posted it, but um, you can kind of see it was snowing yesterday. So this is really rare because in the southern part of Arizona, it never snows. Well, it snows in the northern part, but not the southern, and so it was really cool. But it's really, really, really rare. Really rare. I have a grammar question. Okay. When do you finish the regular verb in T or in or in D sounds? There are there are some verbs that the, when you pronounce this verb, regular verbs, mm. you you end in this verb in T sound or in E D sound. What verb are they? Um, you, you know what I mean? I, I understand your question a little bit. So you're saying that regular verbs in the past tense yes. end in ed, but it, yes. the sound is like a t. So for yes. example, jumped. So you hear yes. that t. That's, that's the ed. Now, are you asking what verbs? No, but in ending in ed, but uh, sometimes some, some verbs... Uh, Sounds uh, in t, t or, or, or another bear sounds ed. What is the the rules about this? I mean, it just depends on the verb. For example, yes, it's you like you have, to, you have to memorize them. Ah, it's, you have to memorize them. Yeah. For example, it's you just have to know. Okay, this verb's irregular in the past tense, and this verb is not. For example, um, the verb jump. In past sense, would be jumped. Uh, but the but verb... is there not a rule? It's only you have to memorize. It. It's it's you you just have to memorize. I don't I don't think there are any rules. It's it's like in Spanish. It's like yeah. divertirse, yeah. and then you have yeah. i to i e. Yeah. So it's yeah. just a mem you have to memorize it. Uh. Okay, John, do you hear me? Joe, yeah. Are you talking to me? Yes, I am talking to you. Do you hear me? Yes. Yes. If you want to visit uh, a city uh, out of the United States of America, which is which city you want to visit to visit to travel to it? If I want to travel outside of the United States, where do I want to travel? Yes. That's okay. my question. That's a good question. Okay, so let's I'll answer that. Then we'll open it up to you guys, so you guys can answer it too, because that's a that's a good topic, I think, because it seems like you guys don't have any questions. So, so the question is, if you could travel outside of your country to visit another country or a city in another country, where would you go? For me, uh, the first place that I want to go is Argentina, because I want to. I've, I've been to um, Europe. And I'd like to go and visit other countries in Europe, but the next place on my list is Argentina. Argentina, okay. 
Okay, did, so you now... vis did you yeah. visit Africa or Asia, uh, for example, Turkey or Morocco in Africa? Um, I've I've never been there. I've never been to uh, Egypt or, or Tunisia or or any country in Africa. I've been to Spain though. Spain is close to Morocco. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. It's right above Morocco. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? That's good. Yo. Yes. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Hi. Hey, everybody. My name is Manuel. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Okay. Cool. Yeah. What are we supposed to do in this class? Um. Okay, well, this class was for question and answers. So, like, for example, you bring a question that's related to grammar, vocabulary, etc., and then I'll answer it. But it seems like we don't, nobody has any questions today, which is okay. So now we're just talking about where you would like to travel, um, where the, f the first place that you would travel outside of the United States. So I said Argentina. So where would you like to travel um, you know, outside of Costa Rica. So, what other countries would you like to travel to, or what other cities? Yeah, no. To be sincere, I would like to travel to United States. United States. Uh -huh. yeah, Things. Uh, I haven't been there. Any, how do you say? Uh -huh. How do you say? I want to to go to United States to to know to say the first time there. You know, United States. I, actually, a lot of people that went to United States, they were in New York and Jersey, and they sent me uh, city places about Times, like Times Square, Empire State, mm -hmm. Central Park. That they are nice places. That they would like to be there one day. Yeah, that would be really cool. I've never been to New York, but um, I feel like yeah, yeah. there are a lot of things to visit there. Has anybody else, or does anybody else want to go to New York or the United States? Yeah, of course, yeah. I want to go I there. I will. I would like to go to New York, but it's very expensive the the travel. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I live in Canary Island. I, first, I have to go to Madrid, and then you have to take another another flight to New York. Uh, a lot of a lot of hours or, or a lot, many hours of flight. I think more or less uh, 12 hours. Wow. Yeah, you could always do, uh, you could also fly, because you're from Barcelona, right? No, no, I, I, I am from Canary Island. Canary Island, oh, Canary Island okay. is situated in the nor northwest uh, coast of Africa, near, near oh, yeah. Mauritania, near, near Morocco. Yes. Okay, oh, okay, okay. So yeah, it would be a, it would be a long trip. I have to go to Madrid first. I have to go to Madrid or Lisbon, and then I have to take another flight to New York. From here to Madrid, two hour and a half, mm -hmm. and from Madrid to New York, see how more or less. And the time that uh, I have to to pass in the airport, mm -hmm. more or less twelve hour, more or less. Wow, yeah, so that would be a long trip. I remember yeah. I had a fly when I flew to London, I had a fly from from Arizona to North Carolina to London and it was like sixteen hours or something. No, it was like like total it was like twenty four hours. It was mm -hmm. a really long time. Like with layovers and stuff. Which a, a layover do you guys know what a layover is? Layover. Um, no. A layover. Okay, so let's say I'm flying to Spain, and I have to take two flights. So if I fly from Arizona to New York, that's one flight. Then I have a flight from New York to Spain to Barcelona. So um, when I go from Arizona to New York and I'm waiting, that's called the layover because mm -hmm. I have to take two flights. So I have to wait. So my layover is four hours let's say so okay. my waiting time from or the, the time I have to wait till the next flight is four hours so my layover is four hours uh, you okay. have to wait until the, the, another, the other play uh, go, go to Barcelona yeah exactly exactly 
Uh, is it uh, London or London? Uh, uh, how is it right? I say London. 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 Okay. London, yeah. Why have After you never been... Excuse me. It isn't like a sheet and sheet, or beach and beach. Not very diff uh, different. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. those, those are pretty different. <laughs> okay. At least, yeah. I don't know. I mean, London, London, there's, because it's just, yeah, London. Why have you never been in New York? It's very easy for you. You take a road, you take a car, uh, how many hours do you do you get to New York from Arizona? From Arizona to drive, okay, I'm going to show you. How many kilometers or miles? More or more or less. Let's find out because um, I don't know, actually. Let's see. I, I, I mean, to drive would be, whew, that would be a long trip. Because okay, so here's so we're gonna do directions from where I'm from. So it's uh, two thousand four hundred and fifty-four miles. Yes, you <laughs> will cross all of America. Yeah, I will go all the way across America. Yes, uh, it's uh, sixty-six road, the main road in America. The 66, Route 66? Yes, it's famous in America. Yeah, the, uh, I... From uh, the Pacific to, to the other uh, Pacific. Yeah, the, the Pacific National to Road. the Atlantic, right? Pacific? Yes, to the Atlantic, exactly. Yeah, so it would be a long trip. The reason I haven't been in New York is because, well, one, I'm in school, so I can't just get in my car and drive there. <laughs> Otherwise, I would. Two, because it's also expensive. I mean, to fly from Arizona to New York, it would probably be about, mm, I guess, mm, I think it's like $400. I'm not sure. Yes. So, I mean, I know that's not that's not too expensive, but, I mean, it's like finding time to go because since I'm in school, I can't just go, like, I could go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but it's not very long. Yes. Any other questions? I mean, I thought uh, I thought they were going to be yeah. Yes, uh, I want to ask you about uh, democracy. Uh, if uh, anybody applied it in uh, really in uh, their countries, for example, uh, I heard democracy in a lot of channels in TV, but uh, if you see. Uh, how people live in this country, there is all liars and uh, they don't apply it at all. What do you think about this? What do I think about democracy? Yes. Well, I mean... The open political club? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How about, let, let's ask, instead of asking me, let's ask everybody else because you guys are the ones that need to, be, to speak, not me. What do you guys think about democracy? This this is open to anybody. This you don't have to ask to speak. You can just speak. Example, please. I don't know any country with democracy. <coughs> um, and the United States too. It isn't democracy. Yes. Uh, example. Like one example. Guantanamo jail. There is no democracy at all. I I don't know why. Do you, uh, do you question this uh, question? <laughs> the democracy, the, I think, is the, the best system right now. That is not uh, good at all, but right now I think it's the best. Yes, it's better than dictatorship, really. Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> There, there is no doubt about this, I, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, maybe we should go to a different topic because it's politics... Difficult. Yeah, it, well, it's, it's, it's very difficult, uh, difficult, guys. It's really difficult that we can argue. Yeah. yeah. Democracy <laughs> have, have, uh, democracy I was... Have, uh, I, I was hearing someone who likes soccer, right? Someone 
<laughs> so, oh, guys, yeah. uh, do you love uh, the uh, Barcelona yesterday? It was so for real. But no, you you were uh, talking about that you like Liverpool, right? Liverpool. Yes, Liverpool. Uh, <laughs> Liverpool has, uh, was today, right, with Porto. <laughs> Not yes, in the Europa League. Yeah, the Europa League. Yeah, yes. yeah I love I love soccer, I love the Champions League, the Europa League. <laughs> <You can't... laughs> yes, yes. Does anybody, know? Does anybody know which, which, which will be the next uh, European champion? European next European champion. champion. I think it's for... Uh, it is in Spain, I think. I'm sure uh, it is in Spain. I prefer it in the champ no the Europe is Levante in the There are the many Wefa. many team right now. Yeah, but, but uh, uh, I support Levante because the goalkeeper is from Costa Rica. His name is Kevin <laughs> Navas. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is not my team but I support because uh, a Costa Rican player is is playing that Yes. Guys, do uh, do it, it. Is it very difficult to get a uh, United States visa for uh, for your country? Is it difficult to what? Uh, to get a uh, uh, visa to United States visa. Um, uh, uh, green card. Not 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 green card. Don't you need? I think a green card's for working, and it, visas for, for working. Like, it's H one B. H one B. Yes, 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 visa. Ma Matt, bro, uh, Matt is right. Touristic, for sure. I yes. think, yeah, I think it depends. Like, for example, well, for, for us, like for for Americans, if if I want to go to another country, most countries I don't need a visa for unless I'm going to be there longer than ninety days, which is like three months. So, but for Russian, you must. For for I don't think I'm allowed to go to Russia. I heard that if if I want to go to Russia, I have to like go through an agency because they have to like book everything for me because I'm not allowed to. Yes, oh, okay. they think uh, they will think you're like a spy. Yes, exactly. Like. They'll catch me and never let me go. <laughs> yes, they don't like Americans. <laughs> no, that and and also Cuba. Yes, uh, it's still the Cold War. <laughs> it's not, it's, it can be very hot, don't worry. It's cold quite well. It depends. Yeah. Yes. So, I have another question. Do Go you for know it. me to? Yes. Uh, what do you think about using uh, women like uh, material in advertising? Using Sorry? women as material in advertising? Yes. It's a very difficult question. It's. What do you mean exactly? Because, like, for example, yeah. let's. Okay, so let's look at an example. So, yeah. actually, I don't know. For if example, can, if uh, yeah. if someone want to to sell a product, they use a woman uh, <coughs> this product to to to, se to sell it to men. You know, uh, they they use a beautiful woman in this uh, in this uh, advertising. And uh, of course, uh, men are attracted by uh, addicted to women, and attracted by that. And uh, after that, uh, they increase the the number of cons of customers. So, do you think is it's he... allowed or forbidden, or uh, they don't respect women if uh, they do that? Oh, so you're asking if it's a question. So you're wondering if it's a question of respect. Yes. If it's respect. if it's respectful well I mean I think it like you're saying for for products that are for men so for example let's say there's a uh, like lotion that you use let's say you're balding which means your hair is going away balding. Yes. okay and so that's obviously for men mm -hmm. and let's say in the ad you know there's a guy who's who's like he says some lines and then a woman comes up and hugs him and it's his wife. Is that yeah. is that what you're saying? Is that like an example of using the woman in the advertisement? Yes, the uh, sometimes they use naked woman in this in this uh, advertising. Do you see how it's uh, ah. difficult? Uh, there is no respect at all. Sorry, where are you from? 
Me? I'm from uh, yes. Morocco. Is it an uh, Islam country, yes? Yes. And it is not very uh, uh, good. No, uh, f uh, uh, and women in your country can't uh, uh, walk with open hand and open face, yes? Yes, oh, oh. but uh, there, is, uh, there is freedom to choose what you want to be. But uh, uh, also, you got to respect uh, everybody of uh, the way they live. Uh, do you understand what I mean? Uh, for example, there is Jews here, there is Christian people, there is Muslim, and uh, they, they respect each other. There is no problem. Okay? Okay. But uh, but there is uh, something wrong about uh, using women in advertising. That's what I am talking about. That's uh, there is uh, no respect at all. They show women like a material, not a human being. You must understand that it depends of culture and uh, of country. And uh, for for me, for example. Uh, um, Every summer, I uh, on the street uh, near uh, near my house uh, there is beach, and I saw a lot of women, uh, uh, maybe without dress, uh, okay. it be possible. And uh, uh, we have uh, different advertisement with uh, different women. <coughs> and, uh, I can't see it because I can I see it you uh, every day, and I. Don't um, give attention. I don't know. I don't know okay. how attention. You ignore. This. You ignore this. Yes, it's it's a routine. It's not very important. Okay. Yes. Okay, and don't uh, bother uh, a lot of people. And we uh, uh, yes, but we don't have any rules for for. Um, any rules for using a uh, woman's body in uh, advertisement? It's possible, yes, why not? Yes. Yo, I have yes, a question. What about music? Rock and roll? Or yeah, uh, yeah, I have a question. Actually, I want to. Uh, <laughs> my question is uh, what kind of music do, do you like? Uh, what's your favorite singer? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think music's a good topic. I mean, um,. Abdal, I think that was a good a good uh, question, but I mean, I feel like Yuri Yuri is kind of right. It depends. Like for example, um, for you guys, it, it, I'm not saying that we view so, yes, in conservative the society and the open societies. Yeah, exactly. So so it depends. Basically, yes. it depends on the country, depends on the religion, depends on a lot, depends on the culture. A lot of on, things. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of hard to discuss. Yes, let's talk about music then. <laughs> okay, music. Okay, um, I want to. So uh, let's see. Manuel asked, asked, "What kind of music do I like?" So there are tons and tons of different genres in English. Um, or not in English, but like I guess names in English. Mm -hmm. um, for example, th there's uh, like new ones. I feel like there's like dubstep. There's house. There's not all of these are new, but um, I kind of like I like all types. I don't like country very much, but I I'm really into music in that I like finding my music in other places besides the radio, so like online. What's your, what's your favorite band? Your favorite My favorite band, band? you yeah. guys probably, I don't think anybody's heard of it. It's called the Miniature Tigers. Has anybody heard of that band? It's in America. Yes, they're actually from Arizona. Arizona, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, and, uh, do you, you take part in this band? No. Do, I, do I play in the band? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes, yes. I wish. No, I do not. I, I don't know how to play any instruments. Yes. Okay. Uh, you, yeah, you, mentioned, know, you mentioned that you don't like uh, country music, but uh, outside the United States, it's uh, famous. A lot of people like uh, country music. Really? I didn't. I didn't yes. know that. Uh, for you know, me, you know, uh, I, I listen to country music. <laughs> You listen to country music. I yes, see. Uh, for example, Sam Mikhail show. If you know that singer, it's from America. No, 
No idea. <laughs> okay. I, I like uh, how you say old music. Like, uh, you, you could say like old music, like like from the sixties and the fifties, like. Yeah, I, I like. I, I like no, they, they <laughs> these bands they are playing now, Dave. I like I don't know, you know, AC DC. Oh. <laughs> One stone. <laughs> Uh, for example, kind of Bucks Twins yeah. Bucks 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 Boys. Do you listen to last, the last uh, album of uh, Rolling Stone? Uh, do you hear about it? Well, perfect, per perfect songs, really. And what about Adele? Eight Grammy. Eight I, Grammy. I know. Can I... you imagine it? Eight Grammy. Really. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. I think it does good. It's perfect, really. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> like uh, Sebastian was talking in the chat about Adele's song uh, Skyfall. Or from, wait, no, she did the song in Skyfall, right? I think so. Yes, yes, yes. It this was a. Uh, this called girl. Skyfall, too. It was, it was it, special for Bond. But what, it wasn't a cover, right? She, like. Did she, did she. Didn't she do it for the movie? Uh, yes, it's special for Bond. I'm not sure. And I must uh, answer for Matt from chat. I can't write to chat, sorry. I know Vitas, I don't like Vitas. Vitas is a uh, Russian singer. Who is a Russian singer? Vitas, uh, Vitas. It's awful Russian singer, really, but very popular. Uh, Matt from chat uh, asked for, for Russian comrade. Oh, but okay. I can't answer to chat, I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, so like for example, another genre that I like is called indie rock. Do you guys know what that is? I Indian rock, no? No, 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 no. no. Indie yes, rock. Yes, of course. So it's indie, it's, it's a very popular way. It's when a uh, small band without money uh, in, in a garage in your garage try to write, uh, t try to play something and uh, I'll write it on uh, a garage <laughs> band. Yep. It's called indie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, like, indie is short for independent. So, if you guys like music that isn't... If you like f discovering new music, you know, that's different from what's on the radio and everything else like that, then there's a website I want to show you really quickly. It's called IndieShuffle.com. And it looks like it's not working right now. Okay, there we go. So then, all you do is click start listening up here, and then it just has random songs, and you know. What what type of music? Rock? Uh, um, music? I mean, like they have like here. Look, if you browse by genre, you have indie rock, electronic, hip hop, and R and B remixes and mm -hmm. covers, folk and acoustic. So indie rock is gonna be like, let's see. Well, maybe maybe we can see. Um. Didn't, see, like, I've never heard of any of these bands. Empire of the Sun, I've heard of. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, there's a ton of music on here, so... <coughs> it's a really good way just to find new music. Yes. Where it can you... be your neighbor, for yeah. example. Exactly. Or your friend. It could be. There's yes. also a website called Bandcamp that's for yes. small, small bands. So, like, for example, let's say all of us were in a band and we made an album. We could put it on Bandcamp. And the way it works is we say, okay, here's our album. Um, you can download it for free. Uh, and basically after you listen to it, if you think, you know, that we deserve five dollars for our album, then you can pay us that if you think we deserve a dollar. If you think we deserve twenty dollars. It's like... You you pay however much you want to pay, so it's okay. kind of a cool concept. It's like donate, like donate. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, it's not like, not usual. I mean, I mean, yeah. It's it's like these bands are really really small. So like like you know how you're saying that there might be like your neighbor or your friends, your friends might put their album on here. And Ira Smith uh, is the first popular, very famous uh, group, uh, <laughs> very famous band who do it really. He um, open uh, his um, song for everyone and uh, suggest, please, if you if you love our music, pay if you want, of course. Yeah. Maybe one dollar, maybe one cent, if you want. 
and uh, he was successful. Really, he uh, they were sorry, yeah. they were successful in this. Yeah, I think that's a good way. I mean, because it's I like I think that people should do that with like apps too. For example, you know, you should make apps free, but then if you know if 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 for example, you really like it, then you know you're going to want to contribute to helping that company continue to make updates and continue to make the app better and better. So I think that's a really good kind of strategy to it. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. it's working for uh, Indigo because it's not very expensive to produce music, but it's uh, maybe don't work for a very popular group uh, uh, because they produce music for famous uh, band. It's a very expensive process, really. Yeah. And it seems uh, video, it seems uh, cinema. Uh, they try to um, get money from donate only small um, art uh, video, um, but ho uh, Hollywood can do it. Yeah. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. of course. I, I don't know in the United States, but in Spain there are a lot of people that uh, download uh, uh, song from internet and they don't pay nothing. This is uh, a problem. This is it's illegal, yeah. This is a yes. problem because the the singer don't don't get money. Uh, probably in the future the, the the music will be will disappear for this for this reason. Uh, it, uh, does it happen in in USA? Yeah, all the time. That's called pirating, or the yeah. yeah it's Copyright. like when you, yeah. It's like when you're pirating is when you're breaking copyright. So when you're downloading things that you normally would have to pay for, you, so you, it could be with software, it could be with movies, it could be with music. Music, it's really popular. Um, just I mean, like for example, there's Spotify, which is legal. Yeah. Um, and you know people buy buy songs off iTunes, but I know a lot of people. Uh, people buy, buy buy songs if no, they, Jerry, if oh, yeah. they are cheaper. Yeah, uh, a lot. Other ways lo it's impossible to buy uh, the uh, CD for twenty five dollar or more. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess I don't know. It's it's hard to say because. Like my, I'd rather I'd rather see a band live in concert than listen to their music. So I think that bands should try to make money. I mean, obviously, I don't. I'm not in a band, so I don't know what it's like or anything. But I think bands should try. Their main way to make money is by doing concerts because they're playing live. People are paying for it. They're getting money. They get a travel, etc. So I think yeah. that's the main way they should because. It's it's gonna it would be so hard to prevent all the piracy that there is because, for example, you know they put a video with the lyrics on YouTube. Somebody goes and downloads the audio from the YouTube, and yes, there's a, a converter from video to MP3. Yeah, exactly. It, so. It's uh, working for United States, but it doesn't work for Russia because in Russia, uh, for example, my music uh, maybe. 10% of my music like, uh, it's I bought and um, other I pirate. I'm sorry, I know it's bad, I know, but I do. Uh, and uh, our uh, bands uh, can um, earn from uh, selling the CD and they earn money only on concert. Only on concert and only on concert for, uh, for example, big company. It's called corporative. <laughs> when big big company uh, celebrate, for example, <laughs> New Year, they invited. Uh, oh, it it was uh, our Gazprom. Uh, I don't know how it's called. Gas. I don't know. I invited um, a smoke on the water. Mm. Who is play smoke on the water? Guys. What? Smoke in the water. Do you remember uh, song smoke? Oh. Smoke in the water. Yes. It's like uh, Halloween. No, it's like Halloween, but not. 
uh, Deep Purple. It's, it's called Deep Purple. And uh, they invited Deep Purple <laughs> to the, uh, uh, celebrate and they played him and uh, earn a lot of money. Yes. It, it worked for Russia. And uh, New Year is the most um, expensive time for this. Okay. Uh, what do you think about... Uh, Can you that... tell me the subject of this class? Because I thought you were talking about drugs. No, uh, we're talking music, music. music right now, just music. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, think uh, I said, uh, if, what is your opinion about instrumental music? Did you uh, like it or not? What kind of music? Instrumental. There is no voice in the in the in this kind of music. Instrumental. Instrumental. Yes. Oh. For example, there is a, a famous song. It's called uh, "Love Secret" uh, by uh, Marcus Albiantes. It's uh, a Greek uh, uh, band. Maybe very relaxing music. Yes, very relaxing. relaxing, yeah. Yes. Can you write the name of the band, please? Okay. It's it's good where uh, when you can't sleep, for example. <clears throat> you go to bed, uh, turn on this um, very quiet and very good music and try to sleep. It's very good. The solution for... The solution for the company to that uh, earn money from the music uh, made the price uh, more low. Mm, this way, this, this will sell more CD or uh, another other way the the people will will download the the music from the internet. Uh, the music company doesn't sell any any CD or or, or don't don't doesn't earn money. Yes, so, but uh, the uh, first problem f for me when I try to download something from internet, I can't bought it in my town, for example. Yeah. Uh, really, I can't. What? Well, can you repeat, please? <coughs> okay. <coughs> Can you repeat uh, the last the last sentence? Uh, the, the, uh, yeah, what you say? Um, when I try to download music, uh, usually the cost of them uh, that I can't <coughs> bought it uh, in my town. Sorry. I can't buy it. Uh -huh. You you can buy. It. Yes, I I, I I don't have in my uh, we don't have uh, any uh, music shop in my town. Uh huh. Oh, why? Why? O only wow. bars, wow. only bars and uh, staff shop, and that all. It's small but town, city. really. But city, do you live? Do so you live? What city do you live? I, li uh, I live in Minsk. It's in Russia. Yeah, yeah. You don't, don't you have uh, any any store, but? Where you can buy CD music or something like that? I can't buy CD, for example, by uh, on internet. There but is no music store in your country. Yes, there is my, uh, no music store in my country. I can buy a CD on internet, but uh, Russian Post um, have good uh, habit uh, to lose uh, my um, <laughs> post box. <laughs> why, why, why there is a problem with delivery. <laughs> yes. Why you don't come? Be because there is not a, a store. The, you live in a very small city or what? Um, it is very small city yeah. and um, it's not very... Um, um, the owner of store um, don't have a uh, good profit. Yeah. He can't uh, do business. Is it expensive to buy from the internet from from in Russia? No, for example, uh, you can buy for um, ten dollars, and uh, you can uh, for delivery um, ten dollars plus. Mm -hmm. 
twenty dollars for album. Okay. Oh. It's expensive. Very cheap. For example, Not in quite. iTunes, it's yeah, less it's than that. Quite. It depends, really. It depends. What, what kind of music the people of Russia listen? Listen. Oh. It's called um, chanson, but it's not French chanson. There, there is a famous song in Russia, Katyusha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a known song. Thank you. I, uh, national sing song. I sing this song uh, in army, really. Yes, <laughs> in army. <laughs> where, where is the city so, where, uh, where do you live? In the north of Russia, south of Russia? Where is the city? Central of Russia. Santa Rosa, ne Moscow of It's uh, 300 kilometers from Mon Moscow. 300 kilometers. From the <laughs> east uh, to the east of... To Sorry? The east, to the west? Oh. To the east, to the west? North? Mm. Uh, to the east to, to or the west? South. To the south to from the... Moscow? Yes. Why? Yes. Go, go to Moscow and buy all, all this is there you want. Uh, you uh, uh, you are smart, but I did it really. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cold over there? Uh, I did it, and I um, um, when I was young, no, uh, <clears throat> for example, as Joe, I uh, love to uh, travel, and um, um, I was fan of one of the uh, uh, one of the Russian rock uh, rock band, and I um, <laughs> I have. Uh, there is another uh, song. Uh, it's famous uh, from Tattoo Bank. They're not gonna us. They're not gonna. they not get uh, gone us. I'm sorry. Tattoo. <coughs> Ta don't, tattoo. Don't, uh, don't, oh, uh, tattoo. Yes. Two girls. Two girls. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's very popular. <laughs> yes, very popular. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, Yuri. Uh, is uh, uh, yes uh, a good president for for a good president for Russia? Yes, he is the president of Russia it's, right now. Uh, Putin now. Putin, Putin, excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, Vladimir Putin. Is a good Putin. president for you or not? What do you so, think about your president? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we are uh, talking about president. Oh, it's very, it's very simple question, uh, and it isn't about politics. It is about uh, geographic. Uh, <laughs> our president and our um, government live in Moscow. Yes. I live. Uh, 300 kilometers from Moscow. Yes. And it is another country, really. And, and what happened in Moscow? It's so far from us. And um, yes. they live in other world, really. Yes. There's they a central decide... government in yeah. Moscow. Yes, they decide to um, <laughs> stop smoking, uh, stop drinking alcohol. <laughs> They decide to uh, create a revolution, our opposites and democratics. But every morning I go to factory, earn money, and um, there is uh, other life. Uh, it's called Moscow. It isn't uh, Russia, really. Uh, we have um, this uh, sentence. I'm not is sure how it's called. Moscow is isn't Russia. Is this some violinist in your uh, uh, small city that play... Uh, uh, in front of uh, crowd to earn money. I'm working for Ukraine company. I'm uh, not earn money in Russian. Sorry. No, uh, you didn't understand my question. Sorry. I said if there is some uh, violinist or uh, musician playing in the street in order to get uh, money. Oh they put yes, it, it happens. They on ground and uh, starting to play. In and a lot of people uh, pass around them and they uh, give them the money. Yes, uh, there is some, uh, the same in America, I guess. Uh, well, okay, so it depends. Because, like, when I was in Europe, I saw that a lot, like, when I was in the train station. But, like, for example, in Arizona, we don't have a train. We have the metro, yes. um, which is, like, above ground, and it's only downtown. Yeah. But... When you see people in the street, they're usually just, it's like, like, 
where I live in Tucson, there are a lot of homeless people. Yes. Um, so why? why? They don't have their home. Yeah. Poverty. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. I mean, I don't know. It's that's a good question. I mean, um, there's not really anything in the city that I live besides the university. There's just that's about it. There's like one mall, and there's yeah. a lot of old people. It's kind of like a retirement yeah. city. Um, <laughs> there is old people there. there. <laughs> there are a lot of, motivation lot of for students. What what was it that? Sound bad. There, well, I mean, like old people, like, like, cause it's a place where, like, if you if you're gonna retire, you might say, hey, let's go retire and live in Tucson. Arizona. <laughs> Not yeah. Arizona, but Tucson, cause Phoenix is cool, and okay. some other cities are cool. But yes. Tucson is like, yes. yes. About the situation, uh, that, uh, I, the capital of Arizona put this stuff and. Sorry, three people are talking at once. <laughs> the, people you talking about? They don't get aids or support uh, from the government. Okay, say that again, Yasin. The homeless people that you are talking about, uh, do they take uh, an aid or uh, support from the government? Do they get money? aid from the government? Some, I think, do. I don't know. They're like homeless shelters where they can sleep for a night. I don't know. I don't know very much about it. There is an uh, association that uh, can <coughs> help them in America. Yeah, so. there, there are a lot of associations that can help, um, but I don't know the logistics but, of it. Yes. So why there are many homeless in uh, USA? I don't know people. why. Why are there not homeless people where you guys live? Mm. Maybe it is good motivation for a student to uh, study uh, to be better in your uh, education. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you're... you're uh, sorry. There are homeless wherever you go. This is, this is not the, the more important. The more important, for example, is the rate, or the rate of unemployment. This is the, 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 the most important. Because in the USA, in the, uh, USA, it's in the, the rate uh, of uh, unemployment is uh, 10 percent, more or less. Or I don't, I don't know exactly. I think uh, it's higher. Percent. Higher. It's more higher than 10 percent. I think it's higher than 10 percent. Yeah. Do you know that um, this year, uh, United States um, can not invite can. Um, to a nice, um, can open uh, 60,000 um, uh, wise uh, for uh, high qualification uh, workers. They they opened what? Uh, H1B wise. It's H uh, H1B. It's a, a visa for working. It's a permit a permit for working in United States. Oh, uh, permit for working. Oh, like for international. Maybe. Uh, and about uh, 60,000 uh, uh, people um, wants to came uh, to United States and work in it's the lot a lot of them uh, is software developer a software developer and uh, a lot of wise um, get Microsoft and um, it's uh, uh, strange <laughs> so but, um, wait hold on hold on keep going Yuri uh, it's strange, uh, especially because the United States have a big uh, unemployment level, and um, I don't understand what, uh, why it happened, really. <coughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I believe you, but I don't know what you're talking about. I just, I didn't, I guess I, I didn't hear about that. I'm uh, not, um, I don't know. I mean, maybe they're they're trying to get, trying to fix the economy and lower the unemployment rate but if they want to lower it I feel like they need to create more jobs within the country for people within the country so I don't know okay mm, what were you gonna why say you don't let them uh, pick up the garbage you not know, like you know to get them the poor people why do why what why you, you don't, don't give them like you know a small job and like, like you picking, know, garbage. picking up the garbage that's a good I don't know I mean I agree with that I think that's a great way I mean I don't know I mean if that's why okay so 
this is just my own personal thing. I don't like homeless people because I feel like they could find a simple job like that and they could go find, you know, like be a janitor or something. Do you guys know what a janitor is? Somebody who cleans the bathrooms? That's a janitor. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they could do a... a Have uh, you ever give money to them before? Yeah, I mean, like, because I hate when they beg, but sometimes, but I mean, I feel bad because, like, okay, I don't know what happened. Maybe, you know, maybe they're trying to get a job and they've been turned away. I don't know exactly, so... Drugs. I don't like there to is, give uh, that is them a, money. a Chinese proverb that means... Uh, yeah. Yes, there's a Chinese proverb that means don't give me a fish, but uh, teach me how to hunt it. What? Say it again. Can you say that again? Yes. The, don't give me a fish, fish but uh, uh, teach me how I can hunt it, this fish. Oh, okay. It's oh, a I'm Chinese don't, proverb. Don't give don't give Don't me a fish, but teach me how to catch a fish. How to oh, catch yeah. a fish, yes. Okay. That means uh, we, we cannot give uh, them money, but uh, we should uh, uh, teach them how uh, to work and how to get a job. Is it Chinese? Uh, yes, it's Chinese proverb. It's very good. Yeah, the many people are uh, deep in the, yeah. in the street. Uh, uh, many people that live in the street uh, only only doesn't doesn't want want to uh, to work. They only uh, they only want that the people give money to them and live uh, and live uh, in this way. Yes, we don't need to encourage them to do that. We should uh, 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 they should uh, get a job and uh, yes, prove yes. they they are u useful. Not useless. Yeah, but, but they don't go I feel to sorry for them, you know? This people. We, all, we all feel sorry for them. We want to us. get money yeah. from the people. Mm -hmm. uh, not, uh, not only for this, that when, when you, for example, give money to these people, they <laughs> want this money for get drinking or for... Yeah. Uh, buying for uh, cocaine that or... That nothing has to do with the, yes, the drugs. Food. Yes. Yeah, so like for what I so I mean when I give people when I when I give homeless thing homeless people things, then usually I try and give them food or like what my girlfriend does whenever she sees a homeless person, she feels bad so she buys them a sandwich or something, some kind of food because if you give them food, you know, the chances that they're going to throw it away or try and sell it are really low. Um but if you give them Money, like 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 you said, then they might buy alcohol, they might buy yeah, cigarettes. Drugs. Who knows? Drugs yes. too. Yeah. Yes. Maybe they can buy a gun and kill someone. That could be bad too. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I mean that's we're talking like you giving them and like you will five hundred dollars. <laughs> that did too. That could be bad. Yes. So uh, what I said uh, before about. Uh, the uh, music musician people who put this uh, their stuffs on earth and uh, starting to play in and earning money uh, there is also homeless people like uh, they put their stuffs and uh, starting begging people to give them money uh, I saw a, a beautiful video in YouTube I want to share it with you uh, there is a blind man who put his uh, a small uh, carton and uh, he, he wrote in this carton I am a blind man please help me and a lot of people passed around him and uh, they don't uh, uh, they ignored him and uh, a few people give uh, give him money and uh, a young lady uh, saw uh, this that small piece of carton and uh, she changed uh, the 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 sentence and uh, she wrote uh, it's a, beauti a beautiful day but I can't see it and oh. uh, after that the uh, all of people who passed yeah. around the uh, old uh, blind man gave him uh, a lot of money I remember I've seen that video yeah yes it's a beautiful one and uh, I just want to 
Can you write the yeah. address in the, in, the, in the doc? Yeah, can you give us the URL? I might have it somewhere. Let's actually, I, if you can't find it, I might be able to. Being positive. Okay. Um, well, this class has come to an end, and I, if you guys are trying to attend the next class, I don't want to hold you guys later, but I'm going to look for the video, and if I can find it, I'll post it on my Facebook page, which is, which the chat isn't working for me, but it's facebook.com slash Joe, J-O-E, Verbling. So I'm okay. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it for you. Uh, I think I have it, and I'll post it on my page. But thank you guys for coming. Thank you for participating, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Good talk. Okay. See Thanks. you next time. <laughs> see you guys. Yeah. Pass a good day. Thanks. You too.